Hello and welcome. Today, lovely sunny day, and I've got about an hour. So I've come out with the Canon M50 Mark II. Decided today to put the 55 to 200 millimeter lens on, the Canon 55 to 200. It's a great lens. I know if you watch one of my earlier videos, uh, I didn't particularly like the lens too much, but I've really grown to love it. Today, I've not come out to do landscape photography or street photography i've just come out to take some different shots really i'm not really sure what i'm going to take i'm going to try and get some close-ups take some different types of shots and just see what happens some may work some may not work I just want to be a bit different really just for something different to do let's go and have a look i've got some lovely flowers over here try and get a close-up of these let's have a look maybe these purple plants here let's see if we can get a close-up with this lens and see what it does and then we'll go and see what else we can get okay so here's the lens i just want to give a bit of a clean always carry one of these cleaning cloths on oh, no, i'm carrying two <laughs> i don't want really dust on it i always carry a blower as well these are quite and oh my god i've got cleaning cloths all over the place give it a bit of a blow the lovely size lens especially on this particular camera it it's not too big you can see the lens just fits in my hand i've got the lens hood on which just makes it a little bit longer okay so i'm going to zoom right in now i need to increase the shutter speed here because it, there's quite a bit of wind so i'm going up to about a thousandth of a second we're going to have iso let's say 200 now with this particular lens the best when, when you're zoomed right in, which we are here, we're on 200, the best f-stop you're going to get is 6.3. You can't open it up any more than that. So I'm just going to use this on my eye. Of course, as soon as you lift it up onto your eye, the wind really blows. In fact, you're wobbling about a bit on a small stand over there. So let's just see if we can get one. Oh my God, it's really blowing. See how close we can get. So what we're going to have to do is go, just move the ISO up a little bit. Although it's sunny, I need a fast shutter speed in this wind. So let's just in increase the ISO to, let's say, there. So we're on about 640. So you can't get too close. So I'm about there should do this is just getting me used to the light let's move on from here and see what else we can find now here's something different we've got some table tennis tables here let's just see if we can get some sort of shot doesn't have to be of the whole thing this is my <laughs> target today okay so i'm going to take some pictures of this table tennis table but I'm not taking a picture of the whole thing I'm going to zoom in to 200 and use this completely zoomed in and set the ISO on 100 uh, we've got nothing moving here I'm just going to hand hold and see what sort of shots we can take so I think just the edge of the table will be a good one let's have a look So I'm on 6.3, uh, 1 250th, maybe a bit more, 1 300, 320th of a second. Okay, nothing really special, just uh, the corner of the table. Let's take the metal net that they've got going across. So 6.3, 400th of a second, an ISO 100. And then we'll see what sort of uh, shot that is. We might turn that one into black and white. Okay, we're now moving on and see what else we can find. Right, we've got a seat up here park bench round one and there's a couple of 
normal ones. So we're just going to see if we can get some sort of composition from these. This isn't my normal sort of photography. Right, okay, not quite sure what I'm gonna take here, but let's have a little look what sort of shot we can get. Okay, we're on a hundredth of a second, 6.3, how far am I zoomed in? I'm zoomed in to a hundred. Okay, we've got some ball rushes over there. Let's go over there and see what we can get over, or those reeds, and see if we can get a shot over there. Okay, so we've got these reeds over here. So let's see if we can zoom in on one. Probably put this in portrait mode or portrait orientation, I should say. So let's move back a little bit. So we're at 6.3 hundredth of a second. Let's just uh, see if we can get one of these thistles now. So it's a bit like macro photography, but with the um, 55 to 200, and it has got image stabilization, and you can take macro shots with this. Oh, it even says it on the side, you know, about one meter away. You can't get much closer than one meter with this particular lens. Nevertheless, let's see if we can get one of these thistles. So we've got to be about a meter away. Just take one over here. Okay, so we've got some logs on the ground here, which uh, you get a lot in Milton Keynes. They cut back trees. I think they call it coppicing, where they just try and cut things back to allow nature to do its job on the ground sometimes these can take a nice photo oh let's just see we are in the shade here rather than the sun so again we're zoomed right in 6.3 and we're going to have to increase the iso here so let's increase that to say 400 that allows me to bring the shutter speed up to one hundredth of a second i'm going to take one it's just it's okay so that's one hundredth of a second, 6.3, an ISO 400. Yeah, we're just going to centre that a bit more. Okay, and now we're going to get down a bit lower to uh, see if we can get one face on. Yeah, we've got some grass in the way there, but let's just zoom in a bit more. bit lower this is the advantage of the tilt screen now so I can get the camera lower we have got a bit of grass in the way I'm not going to move it but we're going to focus on the log yeah happy with that one let's see what else now we've got a little mark on the bark here so we're a little bit overexposed so what we're going to do is bring the shutter speed up from four oh actually we're on 400 400 ISO let's move that down to 200 and then I can bring, still on 6.3, it's okay. So ISO 200, 100th of a second, 6.3. So we've got a little mark in the uh, bark in there. You can see this is different to what I normally do. But we're gonna see how they come out. <laughs> okay, well we've got some nice leaves here. So let's just do one on the, of a leaf. Again, we're a bit underexposed. I'm just gonna move the ISO up a little bit and have 400 ISO 400 I don't want to go too low on the shutter speed because of my shaky hands but that is allowing me to go up a bit higher on the shutter speed so I'm on 160th of a second 6.3 still ISO 400 and again just do that once more again if I want to I can crop in on that to be honest this is fun this is something different to what I normally do, either landscape or my favourite, street photography. Okay, so we're at this totem pole. We've got, I don't know if you can see this, but we've got the totem pole going up here. There's some figures on it. 
I just want to zoom in on the figures. We've got the sun behind the totem pole. So let's just see what we can get. Okay, so we've got background washed out a little bit there. That's okay. Take that photo. And then what we'll do, we'll just zoom in on one of the figures below. Okay, happy with that. So I've got a two or three shots there. Um, and we'll have a go at working with them in Lightroom and see what results we can get. Remember, it's a different day. It's not my normal sort of photography. Right, let's move on, see what else we can find. Yeah, so I haven't published for a couple of weeks. So I've been having a bit of a nightmare, really. I've had some work done on the house and uh, the only photos I've really taken with the iPhone is of the bad workmanship um, so I haven't been able to leave and it looks like I might have to end up doing lots of it myself now what a nightmare anyway less of my problems <laughs> I need a good carpenter what else can we find Okay, I've just noticed some nice white flowers amongst all this ivy and some cobwebs. So I don't know if this is gonna come out. We're just going to have a quick look. Okay, I'll just change the settings slightly here. So we've got f6.3, just going to speed the shutter a bit. Time we're going for just the cobwebs. Yep, that looks okay. It's just, we're getting low on battery here. I think this is one of the non-Canon batteries that I've got. They don't last quite as long. Okay, so I've just uh, seen a tree here uh, with an interesting shape trunk and uh, thought I'll just take a photo of it, a close-up rather than the whole tree. And then over here, let's turn this round for you. We've got a cricket ground. So we've got these gadgets here. Not actually sure what they're used for. Perhaps somebody could tell me. Looks like there's hose pipes connected to them. So maybe for watering certain parts of the uh, cricket field. I haven't got a clue. Perhaps somebody could tell me. <laughs> I, I'm definitely not into cricket. Okay, we've got one of these bikes that you can hire just here. Let's see what sort of shot we can get of this bike. I'm going for a close-up of the saddle and part of the rear wheel. Let's just do another one. We'll just go for the pedal. So as I say, it's a bit different today. It's more about taking different types of shots. Okay, so we've got a bit of a brick wall here. That's all I'm taking a photo of. Just the brick wall coming out into the grass. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell so that you don't miss future videos. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.